Hey everyone, uh, Face here with uh, part 5 of my uh, tutorial series on uh, electronics and model lighting. Um, in my last video, uh, I got started on the first stages to uh, actually integrating uh, an electronic system into a model and uh, as of now I've actually kind of gotten a bit of a start on it. Um, you can see here this is the eye stock, the death ray. I've gone ahead and, and uh, assembled it, instant LED and uh, attached the wiring and if you'll see here it uh, actually works pretty well. It's a little a little bright so I may uh, I may dim down the LED with a, uh, a beefier resistor uh, when I actually assemble the ship, but uh, I'm quite happy with, uh, with how it's turned out. Um, the black light block layer unfortunately wasn't quite thick enough, so I am going to have to hit it with another coat, but uh, that won't be a significant problem. Uh, that'll take me all of about five minutes. As for the rest of the ship, I have gone ahead and gotten started um, Rather, I've, I've basically finished the modifications I'm going to need to uh, to make to accommodate uh, a lighting system. Um, I'll include some photos uh, as well in this video so you can see for comparison purposes. But on the front of the ship, um, there it is, um, is uh, the completed ship is this large green lens. I'm not really sure what purpose it served. I don't believe it was a weapon in the movie, but it's been a while since I've seen it. Um, there was a, a panel behind it that uh, I really don't know why. Uh, so I went ahead and I carved that out because I want to install my LEDs uh, further back so that they're not uh, directly behind the lens. Uh, so it'll, it'll, it'll act to diffuse the light a little bit better. Uh, I'll explain. Uh, I'll explain that in a little more detail when I get to that point. But uh, other than that, uh, there, the bottom of the ship has these three little uh, uh, openings for uh, clear lenses, uh, which will also get lit. And I have gone ahead and uh, drilled out holes so I can install LEDs in them. Um, I haven't quite determined how I'm going to supply power to this thing yet. I'm leaning towards an internal battery. Uh, probably one that can be accessed by removing this because uh, there's plenty of room in that opening in the front for a 9 volt battery. Um, anyway, so for the top half, uh, much like the bottom, I went ahead, I carved out that, uh, that panel behind the green lens uh, as well as uh, the panels behind the uh, green lenses in the wingtip death rays. Uh, and finally, uh, cut out a hole for the wiring uh, for the death ray in the eye stock. Uh, so as it stands now, uh, I pretty much I've made all the modifications I think I'm going to have to make in order to uh, accommodate uh, uh, the wiring in this thing. So I'm pretty much ready to go. So uh, if you'll uh, bear with me, we'll get to the next uh, segment where I'll actually start uh, installing uh, wiring and I'll demonstrate how I do that. So my preferred uh, adhesive for uh, gluing LEDs into place is uh, five minute epoxy uh, because it's inexpensive, uh, it's plentiful in these syringe tubes uh, and it's easy to mix um, and it sets quickly. I've already gone ahead and mixed up a little batch here. In fact, I, I, I mixed a bit too much, but you know, you know my motto, it's better to have too much than not enough. Uh, so basically once you've got the LED where you want it, you just blob a little around it. Um, epoxy is, uh, is a far better adhesive to use than, let's say, super glue. Uh, this, I usually use Zappa Gap when modeling, but um, it can have the same problem with LEDs as it can with, uh, with any kind of clear plastic. It can fog the lenses, um, and uh, you definitely don't want that. Uh, so the two-part epoxy, it like I said, it's it's five-minute uh, formulation dries really quickly, and uh, allows you to get to work right away. And it doesn't damage the plastic, it doesn't damage the uh, the LEDs themselves, and it's good to go. So you see there, I've got the three LEDs for the uh, the, the the little lights in the bottom already installed. 
and they'll be dry inside of five minutes. Now, I've got another one sit, sitting here. Uh, these are all white LEDs that I'm going to use for all the green parts because I don't have any green ones, unfortunately, but, you know, c'est la vie. Um, I'll include some photos uh, in, within this video uh, as, I, as I'm putting it together, but uh, what I like to do uh, for, the, uh, for LEDs that are going to be mounted to a flat surface, I'll kind of bend the terminals into a bit of a shape, like that way you get lots of surface on the bottom here where they can grab onto the, the model, but there's still some terminal here left at the end uh, that you can attach the wiring to. So if I just glued this directly in like that, I can still adjust the angle of the LED, I can raise it up, I can lower it. It's a, it's a, fairly, uh, a fairly efficient um, means of attaching them. So I'm going to go ahead and glue one in place right here. This will be for the, uh, the lens in the front of the ship. And I'll have uh, two more on either side. But um, there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, and you can adjust the angle of the terminals, and it'll, it'll dry fairly quickly. In fact, uh, this, may, this batch of epoxy may dry before I'm even finished with it, so I'll probably have to mix another batch. But. Uh, there you go, that's really all there is to it. Um, if you'll uh, bear with me, I'll come back in uh, a minute or two, uh, and uh, all the LEDs uh, for this part of the ship will be installed, and uh, we'll get to actually wiring them up. So uh, hold on for that. And uh, there we go, all the uh, LEDs are installed, and uh, just waiting to be wired up. Uh, I'm going to give the epoxy you know, a good hour or so to really set uh, before I do anything with it. Because uh, though it does dry in five minutes, it really takes about uh, an hour to two hours before it's really cured. Uh, so I want to give it a, a good bit of time. Um, but uh, as it turns out, I've got these three in the front all close enough that I can actually uh, just solder these terminals directly together instead of having to wire them up. And then I'll just have... Uh, the terminal, the wires coming off of the terminals on the end, so that was a nice little uh, happy accident there. So I'm starting to think that uh, my mantra for this build, pretty much from the start, has been uh, quick and dirty. <laughs> um, basically, uh, I've got it all wired up. It's about 80% uh, finished in terms of wiring. I've got to figure out how to uh, install a power supply which is probably just going to be a 9 volt battery wired in and uh, inserted through the opening in the front um, and uh, uh, wire in the uh, the upper half for the uh, the, uh, the death ray on the eye stock. Uh, as it is, on the lower section I have it running on three different circuits. Uh, one circuit for the three floodlights in the front, uh, one for the spotlights in the bottom, and uh, one for the wingtip death rays. Uh, I also have one extra circuit for the eye stock itself, uh, which is running on a red LED while these are all white. Um, so that, there's really not much more to it. I've, uh, as I showed in the last segment, uh, just using uh, a little bit of uh, two-part epoxy to uh, glue the LEDs in place. I wired them in with my uh, uh, my wire wrapping tool. The only uh, as for the uh, the terminals here, uh, this is the the positive terminal with the uh, the uh, resistors mounted on it. I just soldered the tips of the three resistors together and left a terminal to attach the uh, power supply. And uh, the negative here is just uh, the same way as I did in my second or my third video showing a parallel uh, system uh, is just a uh, stub from a uh, uh, from a LED that was left over. Uh, I just wired it all together that way. Uh, now, as for the top, as I mentioned before, um, I've got it on its own circuit with its own uh, resistor here. Uh, the eye stock itself screws into place, so it is nice and secure. There's no risk of it coming off. Um, I have to, 
I'm debating whether or not I want to bother fixing the seam, because like I said, this, this build is pretty much just quick and dirty. Um, my entire intention with this series is basically just to give you a groundwork uh, that you can build on with your own, uh, your own experience. Uh, so as it is, uh, this is where I'm going to leave it for right now. Uh, I'll do the final assembly uh, probably tomorrow in the next video. Uh, so do please stay tuned for that. Um, and uh, so that'll probably be the last one in this uh, in this segment. And then as for where I go from there, well, we'll wait and see. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, thanks for watching and uh, happy modeling.